right, it's Saturday, it's time for JKD. Last week's class was outside, and honestly, it wasn't a great class for me. Uh, I feel like I just didn't do that well. Like, I felt like I was struggling with a bunch of the stuff we were doing, and I probably shouldn't have been struggling. Uh, didn't look great in the, the videos that I saw from the class. Just not great overall. So I'm going to try to get it together this week, because I don't want to have two bad classes in a row. Yes, hold on. This class was pretty big. Um, it was a pretty big class this week. And we started with some um, sort of advancing and retreating drills. So we'd be with a partner, one person would advance on the other person, and the other person, when their partner advanced, would sort of retreat. And then eventually you'd switch and the other person would advance and the first person would retreat. I sort of looked at it as a, uh, as a reaction drill. Um, you have to wait for your partner to move and then you need to react to them advancing and take your step back. You don't want to jump the gun and run away before they're doing anything, but you also don't want to wait too long or they're going to be able to come in and then attack you a bunch of times. There might have been something more to the drill that I just didn't quite understand. We've done similar drills before and I feel like there's something I'm missing, but that's how I was interpreting it, how I was doing it personally. Maybe just because I didn't understand what we were actually supposed to be doing. But then we added uh, some attacks to it. So we switched from one person advancing and the other person retreating to making it a more offensive drill where one person retreated and the other person had to advance and attack. We'd both have a pad and one person would retreat and hold up the pad and then the other person had to advance and attack the pad. After we did that a couple times we, uh, we added a little bit more freedom to what we were doing so after that first attack the person with the pad could then throw some attacks that you had to block or dodge and then you do it again. So instead of just that one attack now there's some sort of counter to it that you have to avoid. And we did some variations on it, so instead of going back and holding up the jab, um, the person would go back and hold up a roundhouse kick, and when you advanced you had to hit the pad with a roundhouse kick instead of jabbing. Uh, and then we sort of put them together, and you had to advance in, do the roundhouse kick, and then do the jab. And then we added a counter to it, so you come in, do the roundhouse kick, do the jab, block, when they do their jab back and then throw another jab. And then from there, the pad holder could throw some attacks. That was like the last step. After your roundhouse kick, jab, dodge, jab, they could throw some more attacks that you had to block or dodge. Personally, I like that progression. Start with something nice and basic, uh, add some attack to it, and then make it a little bit more free. Start with advance and retreat, then we move it into a slightly more aggressive thing, but using the same movements, and then we make it a little bit freer where the person with the pads can do some attacking after you attack, so you have to make sure that you're doing some uh, defenses as well, which seems realistic. If you go in and attack someone, they're probably gonna try to hit you back. So it makes sense to be doing drills where after you hit someone, you then have to counter an attack after, or block an attack after. And then from there we finished the class up with some sparring we put our gear on and we started with more structured sparring where one person was doing some attacks and the other person would defend. So one person would go in with two or three attacks and the other person had to defend against those two or three attacks. And that person would attack a couple times and then you'd switch so the defender was now the attacker. That's good for me because I need to focus on my defending a lot so a sparring drill where I'm specifically focusing on defending is good for me. And then after that we just did some free sparring. Partner up and spar. Free sparring, you know what that is. So, great class. I really enjoyed this class. We, uh, we built up our, uh, our combo there with the roundhouse kick, the jab, uh, from just advancing and retreating up to a, a slightly more open-ended defense set drill. And then we did some sparring, which was also a little bit structured. Started with a specific focus, doing the attacking and defending, and then moved on to more 
free stuff. Uh, counter to it, if you come in and do the jit though. Defense. Set. 